Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Luis. Today, I'm going to talk about integrating AWS Lambda with relational databases. AWS Lambda allows you to run code without provisioning or managing servers. It follows a pay-as-you-go pattern, and the cost is low. Besides, AWS Lambda can be easily triggered by SQL command without changing existing architecture. Next, I will introduce how to trigger Lambda function with SQL command line. The first step is to give a real MySQL DB cluster permission to access Lambda. After we created an AM role for RDS, we should set the AWS default Lambda role DB cluster parameter to the ARN of the new IAM role. Then we should assign this role to RDS. We can invoke an AWS Lambda function from an Aurora MySQL DB cluster by calling the native function Lambda Sync and Lambda Async. Well, you must know the result of the Lambda function before moving on to another action. Use the synchronous function Lambda Sync. The database user invoking a native function must be granted the invoke Lambda privilege. And this can be done by the statement. All set, then we can trigger Lambda function with this command. We put Lambda ARN and the event in this SQL command. Now we can trigger Lambda function in SQL. How we can trigger it automatically? We can implement stored procedure. We can call the stored procedure to invoke the AWS Lambda function. After that, Every time we insert a new record into this table, the Lambda function will be triggered. That's the introduction and demonstration for integrating AWS Aurora MySQL database with AWS Lambda. If you are interested in more best practice in Lambda function, please subscribe our channel and we will upload more videos very soon. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.